someone's rung up about this slurry injector. Well, it's a little grass slitter actually. It sort of slit, uh, cuts a little slit with the, the uh, like the disc wheels, and then uh, and then it's got like feet behind. But, oh god, it's uh, it was in the wettest part of the bloody field. Anyway, managed to gore it out because tyres on this thing are shot. It wants a new set to be fair. One's got a slow puncture, and they're as bald as a coot, so they just want. Um, replace him before harvest life. We always, if we get an inquiry about a machine, we always bring it out and feel because it looks bloody terrible. And break tech it, just give it a freshen up with steam cleaner and uh, put it in a position where, you know, people can see it as soon as they drive in. And then sometimes, I think they've made their mind up, they've bought it before they even get out of pick up. You know, if you put it, I always put something at a nice, it's best side sort of thing where if someone goes, bloody hell, it's all right, though, isn't it? And, uh, you know, part of my sales pitch. But this is very little money. I bought it very cheap and I put my bit on it. And uh, I think these lads, the keen, they want ex they've got one exactly the same, but they want to hydraulically um, make theirs wider. So they'll, they're going to make two wings out of this. And um, yeah, they could be right enough for them. But it's bloody heavy and all that. Going into the bloody trailer, I won't be very happy. Jet photo bombing again? Christ, I, I might that dock and shit. And my advance sold. Uh, fella rung up yesterday, you know, he's been sort of dragging his feet about payment. Well, dragging his feet, keep sending me messages of oh, I can't come today, I'm working away, I'm poncing about like that. Anyway, wrong, yeah, he messaged yesterday, I don't want van now, it's gonna, um, uh, you know, it's not for me. You know, dealing with Joe Public nowadays, they're absolutely clueless, you know, like a deal's a deal. I mean, said he wanted it, well, if that's me, I have it, you know what I mean? Even if I think after, bloody hell, I've done right buying that. You know, I'll have it, I'll take it, I won't Welsh on a deal like. Uh, I've been brought up that way, but Joe Public haven't a clue how to deal properly. I mean, I don't, not to worry. So anyway, someone else is coming today and he sounds like he talks sense. He actually rings you up instead of messaging you. And there's now no worse thing if someone messages you and you don't reply straight away. And then they send you another message with three, three or four question marks in a row. That really boils me piss, I don't even answer to them. Anyway. Right, I'll get this washed off. It's about half past five and it's still daylight, it's lovely. Got a bit done today, in fact we've had a very busy day. Phil's done all up uh, first application of the uh, of rest of our barleys and wheats. Earlier than usual, but the season's different, isn't it? It seems to be a lot earlier, so... And they're on about mild weather coming and not a lot of rain, so um, apparently this urea isn't as mobile in uh, damp conditions. It is in summer when it's hot, it's, uh, it can evaporate, but um, it isn't as mobile as in going down the drains, apparently. I don't know, it's all new game to me, this urea business, but he it says it's spread really well though. And we've looked at pattern and didn't chucking it much in edge bottom and it seems to be a oh, bloody rat just went under there and uh, and uh, yeah it seems to be uh, spreading it well so carrying well he hadn't found no wet holes whatsoever sure I saw a rat yeah look at that that rat there's loads of rats in this muck hill Got a couple of set of Simba discs, um, both in rip oh, need uh, new discs, but a couple of sets of two Bs if anybody wants them. We bought them to go to New Zealand, but uh, trans transport went sky high and job dried up. So, oh, and uh, I think I've told you before we do Mashio power of spares, uh, second hand ones, and, and we can get new. Um, if so, anybody want any bearing seals? Uh, rotors, gears, gearbox parts, out like that. If you've got one brock down, give us a shout. 
you know, uh, for instance, I'll give you for instance, one of them uh, rotors out of uh, that Rapido there, if you went to buy one new, it'd be about 400 quid. But you can buy the rotor. The, what I mean by the rotor is what the uh, the Tynes uh, uh, quick fitter and uh, asked him out at 90 like. So if anybody wants any machio parts, give us a shout. I mean, we've got nothing. Christ, well, mighty we are bloody. We used to do all different breeds. We've got some bits and pieces of other breeds, but we're trying to just specialise in machio and. Uh, just to simplify it really, it got real complicated, I was never stopped, I was like pulling pulling power as to bits after my tea and that and I just got pissed off with it, so I, what I do now is, yeah what I was saying was I've got a lot of rotors and gears on uh, on the shelf, uh, all new bearings you'll want, seals, um, you know so if you want any machio stuff give us a shout. What's up? Did this the other day, but then it went straight. When it sort of gurgled and then started. Water trap up first. Ah, yeah. keep going. You're alright. Slowly, slow though. Is it faster now? No, yeah, it's going. It's going. Right, the uh, tra the water trap's about half full. It does take a lot of diesel like that water. So. Yeah, now you're gonna right we're Right, she's got out of it now, she's in, in in line filter, it's coming to you. Right. So I can just check to see if this housing's alright, you see like that. We're just having a look in Frank's van. <laughs> it's a bloody disgrace, I thought. Our van used to be bad. Look at stir to this shit all. How do you work him on all this? And he's got his man bag and all, he's one of them. <laughs> he's one of them blokes who walks around with a bloody little man bag. Well, I never knew you were like that, neither. <laughs> you big pons. <laughs> Oh dear, we're just having a bit of a giggle. We found we found our first, not a major problem with Digger, but we've been running her without a fuel filter. They've, uh, whether it was, whoever anyway, have uh, bypassed the fuel filters and tanked straight to the pump, so, which is not good, is it? That one's a clean out as well. Nice little side guard made out of sign lock. Yeah, yeah, very impressive, your van, Frank. Yeah, very good. It takes a long, it takes a long time to get like that, you know. I bet it does. Do you lose stuff? This one, that one, it? It's all in there. It's all in there somewhere. Could it be two minutes since you got this bloody van? No, no. Workhorse, no. Oh yeah, proper workhorse, isn't it? Yeah, if you want your tractors mending, here he is, here's your man, Mr. Beavers. Got all, all the time in the world, he has. Yeah. <laughs> Getting this stuff again, this compost off uh, some friends of ours. Putting passages for pigs, and then uh, it sort of encourages them to mess. Uh, among this and uh, and then we um, and then we spread it on grasses it's lovely stuff really does make your grass grow Yeah, well, just got forward and reverse uh, fixed. 
What? I needed the big guns out to move this. So. It says he needed the big guns to move this. Stand. We, all right. Oh. We, uh, yeah, we've only just got the forward and reverses uh, fixed. We've just yeah, absolutely chucked the bits with it though. It's a lovely tractor, it really is. Get some work out of it now. Chose an inside job today, it's absolutely blowing a gale. So yeah, we're gonna put these concrete panels. There's three posts to go in, one of you. One in between there and one there. So we're gonna dig them with digger and uh Ooh. Hang on, just back off. Bloody hell. Is it though right back to uh post at yon end? Uh, I ain't so far off, you won't see it. We maybe, oh, that puss concreted in it, isn't it? Yeah. Oliver! What? Just get out, wait a minute until he gets it up. And get ready with your, yeah, his cleat. Pretty marvellous thing, concrete panels. You know, what, what, what did we do with that one? Block walls, it was set forever to do. And then you knock them down. There's enough odd for uh for weekend, isn't there? I used to be athletic like that. Not no more. I'd have broke a hip, I think, if I jumped off like, like I think that. I nearly did though, my way. We've had a real good day actually. <coughs> apart from me digging pipe up. We thought there's a drain what goes from a manhole over there to a manhole there, and I thought, well I just had it in my head, it was nowhere near where I was digging. Anyway, this all, we dug it out. So, yeah. So we've had to repair that and put a bit of concrete around it and uh, it should be right, but... Where's the ladder? Where's the ladder? All, what for? Oh. All our measurements have been a bit pear-shaped as well, though. We've got a paddle, a paddle stuck out there. It should be flush, but yon ends stuck out like that. So I don't know whether I've got a plan, whether I've done this intentionally to put an outside wall on. I can't bloody remember. It was a long time since I measured these panels. Digger done another job digging these postals. Yeah, we're really pleased with it. I'd just like to thank Joe Seals. He sent me one of his hats look and a bit of a, a letter saying uh, how, uh, how he enjoyed the channel and a good job I was making uh, of it. So anyway, keep up. What did he put? Here's a hat to keep you your noggin warm. Keep up the straight talking. No nonsense. Thank you. Doing a cracking job, Joe Seals. So yeah, well, thank you very much, Joe. We'll keep that up there, pride of place. So yeah, power of power of parts again look we've got main oil seals up there all gaskets spare nuts springs for quick release rapidos all uh gaskets uh little little little, little bearings uh bearings of uh for your big 
your heavy duty DMs and your uh, your lightweights. You've got these bearing assemblies. These are a good seller. These seem to be a bad design on a Mashio then. Um, turn them out at 165 quid a piece. So, you know, it sounds a lot, but you could place one elsewhere. Bloody extortion up there. Can get brand new, like, uh, that's a brand new rotor for a Rapido. Don't tell you how much. I think that's about, well, I think I paid 400 quid for it. So, I don't know what they are now. That's been on shelf a while. Uh, but I bet they're dearer now. Um, and I'll do a second hand one at 90, so. But anyway, oh, before I go, I just want to say hello to Jamie in Brisbane, Australia. Um, he sent me a message, well, I sent Nico a message the other day saying, Watch is the channel. So, you're surprised, is Jamie actually? I thought you'd only do six months and you'd be back, but six years later, you're still there. So, but uh, next time you're home, give us a shout and we'll uh, we'll have a pint. So, but uh, but anyway, so so right, that's it for me anyway, home time. So, but uh. From uh, Tattyard Farm in East Yorkshire. Bye for now. Oh, and if you uh, tick and subscribe or whatever you do. Alright, bye for now.